Peace beautiful people, I'm back with another video and today I am getting ready to head to a photo shoot. So I figured I would share this with you guys obviously since I'm here. Um, it's kind of a different photo shoot, it's not your typical shoot I would say. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is heading to the studio and taking some reference photos for a comic book actually. So. I'm going to be striking some different poses, doing some different action movement things. Do you like that, guys? Action movement things. I don't really know what that was. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing some different poses, doing some different things, and they're going to be taking pictures so that an artist can draw them and prepare them to be in a comic book. So yeah, for this particular job, I had to... The requirements were I needed to wear light colors um, and I needed to have my hair fully up off of my neck and face. And that was, when I read that, I was like low key, high key, no, low key concerned that um, I wasn't going to be able to pin my hair up. And even though my hair is short, it was it's long enough that it can obstruct like the view of my neck if you're trying to get any of like these details of the human form. So I was like, I need to get this hair like pinned out of my like face and off of my neck. And I really wasn't sure what I was going to do, which is why I don't have a video showing you guys how I did that. But I ended up just like freestyling a bit. There's like 500 pins approximately in my hair, but it's fine. And I low key have a headache, but it's fine. We're making it. We're going to make it happen. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all what I did to my hair. So I don't know if you can tell, but I have like one, two, three, four of these like pins. And I did like little, I did little like, what do you call those? Maybe flat twists. I just like took the hair and I would just like roll and tuck, roll and tuck, roll and tuck. And I just like pinned where I needed pins because my hair is not that long and it can't really secure itself. So um, yeah, I'll show you all what the final product looks like. So this is the front. Here's my right side. Here's my left side. I'm gonna flip around and show you all the back. So yeah, that's my little first time ever updo hairstyle. This has never happened and honestly, it's probably not going to happen again for a while or unless there's a necessary reason for me to do so because it's just, it's uncomfortable. It hurts because it honestly doesn't hurt, but I don't style my hair. Like in my first video, the two little ponytails I had with like the side glass and the back out, that's the only style I've ever done because one, it's the only one that's really feasible and practical since my hair is so short, but also like I don't like the feeling of like ugh, the pulling and the just... I can't, I can't with this guys. I just, I'm not about the hairstyle life and I have no problem with that. So yeah, I'm just gonna go, as you can see, I'm like still in my robe. I just am finishing getting ready and then I'm gonna head out the door and we're gonna do a photo shoot. Peace, beautiful people. I am in the car and ready to make moves. As you all can see in the background, it is a lovely wintry tundra-like day in upstate New York. So I am super excited about it. And by super excited about it, I mean I literally hate the cold and can't stand it. But I'm bundled up. Hopefully this is gonna make it through. Um, I'm getting ready to head to the shoot now. It is about 10.40, um, shoot starts at 11. It's like a five to 10 minute drive from where I am. I like to get there early, so we should be right on time. So I'll check in with you guys, check in with you guys. So I'll check in with you guys. I literally cannot speak today, that's great. I'm gonna check in with you guys when I make it to the location. 
All right, so we made it to the venue and it only took me, let's see, it only took me eight minutes and I only pulled one illegal maneuver. So that was good. I just had to like, when I was coming to the location, it's on a one way and I took the exit off of the expressway and it put me just like a half a block maybe past the venue on the one way so I wasn't about to like risk getting lost or confused and like trying to like circle around so I just honestly took it the wrong way on the one way guys so yeah that happened but it's fine I'm here and I'm safe and I am going to I'm gonna try to find my way to where I'm going exactly because it's kind of a huge building and I'm hoping I don't get lost and I don't wanna be late. So I'm gonna get on the move. All right, peace people. All right guys, so I literally just, oh wow, this has a major echo, but like I literally just got inside and my contact told me that she's not here and I'm basically on my own. So think of me guys and please send me positive vibes because I'm literally walking to somewhere I don't know to meet strangers. Cool, cool. All right, it's gonna be great. I found the venue and I am currently here by myself and the door was open so I just came in. So hopefully that's not a problem. I'm just gonna like get myself acclimated. We're actually having the shoot in a dance studio. I'm gonna just show you guys what it looks like around cause it's, it's kind of cute. talk to you guys about the whole experience because going into it even when I was talking to you all about what I was doing and what I was getting into I really wasn't sure like I had an idea of like what was going on I had my instructions of like there would be pictures taken and there would be reference photos and like the bare minimum but like the details of what was really happening I wasn't really too sure of so that's why it was vague before but now that the experience has happened I wanted to share with you guys because I just thought it was pretty cool. So as you saw earlier when I got there, I was just by myself. So I was kind of hanging out in the space. And then with some time, one of the models arrived first. So it was just her and I. And then the third model showed up. And then the illustrator showed up because I... I had thought about this as a possibility, but I didn't know that the person who would be taking the pictures was actually going to be the illustrator. So yeah, show you these. Cause when she showed up, she, she gave us these nice comics. These are volume one, two, and three. We did the shoot for volume four. So these are volumes one, two, and three. I'll show you each of them. The covers, it's really, it's really beautiful illustrations. I really enjoy them. So yeah, this is volume one. It's called Coyotes and it's by Sean Lewis. Sean Lewis is the author and Caitlin Yarsky is the illustrator. So Caitlin is the person I met. So yeah, this is volume one. This is volume two and try to zoom in. So you can really see some of the detail. Very cool. And this is volume three. I really want you all to be able to see. Beautiful, right? 
so yeah caitlin showed up and she was just filling us all in because it was for the three models it was the first time we had all had shoots like the one that we were doing today so she was really good at explaining what was going on gave us a lot of references to what was happening in the storyline especially this being volume four just kind of filling us in on the story from the past three volumes and what was happening in the what was happening in the what was it the fourth volume so I, i'm not going to share anything specifically about the storyline of the fourth volume as it's not going to be released for some time also i'm gonna reach out to caitlin and find out where you all might be able to purchase these comics coyotes and read them check them out look at the illustrations because i think it's it sounded like a cool story concept just from what she was describing and so I'll get the information and let you all know. So if you want to check it out, you can, because I will be super, super excited to check out, especially the fourth volume when it comes out. I'm going to like binge read through the first three. So very excited. But yes, so she was telling us about the concepts, telling us about the characters and the storyline. And she also was talking to us about lighting because that's something that obviously every photo shoot has lighting, but that's something that was really important for her and for reference for when she's doing the illustrations is based on what was happening in the story and where light sources were like I'll say there was there were points where there was a fireplace different things outside in the sun things where there were windows open doors closed doors so she would really adjust the lighting accordingly and place us such that when she was referencing the pictures, the lighting and the shadows would be accurate for when she placed our figures as the characters into the comics. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was just nice to get an idea of how that whole process works. I've never, I've never really known. I've read comics, but I've never really seen the process. That was something that was interesting. There were only three models and there are a lot more than three characters in the book so just kind of taking on different characters and different roles and posing accordingly based on what was happening in the story who the character was whether they were young old male female it was just it was a really cool process and i'm grateful to have had the experience and it's something that i would definitely do again so yeah at this point i'm basically just rambling i didn't really have anything specific to say i just wanted to come on and let you guys know more about what I did since I wasn't able to um, really take any footage while I was doing the shoot. I just wanted to tell you guys about it, tell you a little bit more about what was happening, you know, show you the comics and, you know, what the illustrations look like. And yeah, just let you guys know about what I was up to today. So I'm gonna, after this, eat some food and get ready for my day and yeah just do things besides work and record so i hope you all have a wonderful day whatever time of day it is wherever you are and i hope to see you again in another video all right people peace